Hello, this is Gimme a Milk. In this video we'll be programming a complete memory scanner tool in C. If you're not familiar with memory scanners, they're programs that allow you to monitor and watch for changes in the memory of another process, for example a game. So you could use the scanner to monitor how your score changes or your amount of ammo, etc. and use it to find the memory address where that information is held in the game and once you've found it you can then change it to anything you like to you know, for example give you more lives etc so we're going to program one of those now so let's create a new file and we'll call it memscan.c okay the main windows apis that we're going to need to implement our memory scanner are called virtual query x read process memory and write process memory the read and write you may have seen in a previous video I did, they are as they sound. They allow you to read or write the memory contents allocated to another process. Uh, virtual query X is what we'll use to find out which regions of a process's memory are actually in use and have been marked as in use by the operating system. So the order would be use virtual query X with a given process ID to find the blocks of memory you're interested in read them locally with read process memory, modify their contents locally and then write them back again with write process memory. So let's include the Windows headers that we'll need and we'll also need the standard I.O. and we'll make a basic data structure that will hold information about one memory block from a remote process so we'll call it memblock and in this structure we need a handle to the process we're interested in we'll just call that hproc and a pointer for the base address that this memory block relates to now this is the address in the process we're interested in not an address local to our own process and a size for the block so how much memory there is beginning at this address and then we need a local buffer that we will copy the data into when we need to read it or manipulate it and we'll also take a pointer to another mem block called next this will allow us to chain these structures together in a linked list when we've got more than one memory block so that's our basic data structure and let's make a constructor function to create one of these when we require it so it will return a pointer to a memory block and we'll just call it create mem block and it will take the handle to the process that we're creating it for and also a pointer to a structure called memory basic information now what this is is a structure that is returned by the virtual query x call so when we are looking at memory from the process we're interested in we use virtual query x to retrieve this structure and then we'll pass it to this function to create a memory block for us so first of all we need to allocate some memory for our block so we'll just malloc it here and assuming that the malloc was successful we'll do things with it and return it so let's fill it out first of all hproc is simply a copy of the argument passed in address is where we access this meminfo structure there's a member called base address and that's exactly what we want the base of the block and similarly there's a member called region size in this memory block uh, this meminfo structure I should say and the buffer is a local buffer so we need to actually allocate some space for it and the size is 
the same as the region size there, so that will be enough to take a copy of the contents that this meminfo structure refers to. And finally we just need to make sure our next pointer is currently null because we're not part of any list at the moment. So that's the creation function and we should also make a corresponding free function which will just take a pointer to a memory block. First check is actually pointing at something and before freeing it we also need to free its buffer that it's allocated so we check it exists and if it does free it. Before freeing the uh, memory block itself. Okay so that's our uh, create and our free implemented for us a memory block structure. Let's save that. Next we'll make a function called create scan which will return a memblock pointer and that pointer will be the head of a complete linked list that will represent the entire memory contents of a remote process and will determine the process by passing in its process ID. So first we need a, a head of a linked list, we'll call it MB list and ultimately that will be what we return. Next we need our variables to use with virtual query x, so we need a memory, if I can type it, basic information structure and also a pointer to keep track of the address that we've passed to virtual query x and we'll start it at address 0, we'll see why in a moment and we need a handle to the process which will open now with open process and we need all access to it because we'll be manipulating its memory and uh, we don't care about child processes at this point and the PID so if we got a valid process back we can now loop through the process memory with virtual query x so we'll make a while one loop and the way virtual query x works is you give it the handle to the process uh, you give it an address to start looking from now what it will do is we're going to start with zero Virtual Query X will take the address and return information based on an address equal to or higher than that. So if you start at zero, it will return effectively the first, the lowest address that's valid. You can then work with that and use that as a basis for next time around the loop. So we need to pass in our memory structure and also its size and virtual query x will return non-zero if it was successful and it will return zero if it failed or if address is too high so eventually address will be too high and it will fail so we can use that as our exit condition so we can say if it returns zero then we're done and we'll just break out so if we get to here meminfo now holds valid information so we can now create a mem block and we've already got the handle there and we pass the address of our mem info structure and if we got a valid memory block back we can now add it to the linked list so we said its next pointer to the current head of the linked list and then change the head of the linked list to our new block. 
So let's examine this loop. It'll spin round. Ah, one very important thing I forgot. We need to update the address.